Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Let's uh, set you know some rules here. Very simple rules. If my father rapes uh, another woman, uh, I mean any woman, uh, he would be a called a rapist, right? If let's say your father rapes a woman, he should be called a rapist, right? It's not the person; it's the act that defines the the you know how whatever you are. So, if I lie, I'm a liar. If you lie, you're a liar, okay? Now, if I'm a bad dude and I'm lying, I'm still a liar. And if you're a good dude and you're lying, you're still a liar. All right, so that's, we, we do this in kindergarten, but it seems like a lot of people who are in control of us don't do that. And I'm talking about, in this case, uh, I'm talking about the European Union bosses, all right, who seem to, to think this way. If they are committing a crime, there's a crime, but if we are committing a crime, that's not a crime. So, let's see. You're probably familiar with what's going on right now in Ukraine, and I'm not talking about the war, that's, uh, you know, general, uh, you know, call of the day. It's the attack, the retaliatory attacks, missiles and rockets coming from, and, uh, uh, you know, air attacks with uh, airplanes, aircraft, drones, missile strikes from uh, caliber missiles from the Black Sea. So the Russians are retaliating to a terrorist act conducted by Ukraine or an attack on, let's put it mildly. Let's, let's, try, let's try to be uh, fair. A civilian infrastructure in Russia or in Crimea was blown up, according to the Russians, by the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians celebrated it doesn't mean they did it. Now, the Russians say, okay, you hit our infrastructure, we're gonna hit your infrastructure. Now, if that act of destroying my infrastructure is a good one, let's say, then mine is gonna be also a good one because I'm gonna hit the same kind of infrastructure that you hit. So again, you raped my bridge, I will rape your bridge, right? So we're both, both rapists. No, doesn't work that way. European Union thinks differently and the United States thinks differently and the mass media all of, all of a sudden forgotten. May, maybe they skipped kindergarten. They jumped to the uh, you know, first graders or something when they didn't learn what I told you that we should agree at the beginning of this video. So let's move on with uh, reading this little um, article comes from Reuters and it's from today, October 10th, 2022. Una uh, European Union condemns, quote unquote, bar quote unquote, barbaric Russian missile attacks and warns Belarus. So, these guys knew exactly that what the Russians are doing is a bad thing, but did you hear them condemning the barbaric attack on the Kersh Bridge? on the um, Crimean Bridge. I did not hear. If you did, good for you, but I didn't hear it. So, isn't uh, a rape a rape, regardless who's doing it? According to the European Union, no. If we do it, it's not a rape. It's, I don't know, providing services. And the other one is, I don't know, it's rape, but barbaric, right? Which is. So, Brussels, the European Commission condemned as, quote-unquote, barbaric, Barric Russian missile strikes on Kiev and other Ukrainian cities on Monday and warned Belarus against helping its ally kill civilians. Wow, whoa, whoa, again, whoa, 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 whoa. What about you providing weapons for Ukraine to kill people? Because believe me, your weapons are designated to destroy only military personnel. When your rockets or your systems are flying and they go towards a civilian and they see, oh, that's a civilian. <coughs> they just veer out in the space and nothing happens. Really? Yeah, that's what these guys want us to believe. Well, sorry, I'm not a retard. So, let's move. Maybe I look like one, but anyway. I hate when these guys insult us really like that. But as I said, these guys are not focused on us, you and I. They are focused on the guys below 86 IQ. That's their uh, target. And they will say, hey, did you hear what the Russians did, man? 
don't even engage them. Just say, hey, what's over there? Ping, and move on. So let's see. We have EU foreign policy chief, Joseph Borrell, said, have you ever heard about this guy before he was taken and placed over there? I didn't. Who's this guy? As Nigel Farage said, who the hell are you? Who are you? I never heard of you when he's talking about what's his name, uh, Von Rumpoy. Remember, who are you? I never heard of you. That great, great movie, great uh, video. Watch it. Nigel Farage uh, versus uh, Von Rumpoy, Belgian guy. He said, Belgium is not an existent country here. Well, Belgium plays a very good uh, role for some. So Borrell said Russia's acts had, quote unquote, no place in the 21st century, adding in a tweet that military support for Ukraine from the bloc was on its way. So that support is just, as I said, calibered to hit only military targets. And yeah, this, this kind of uh, uh, acts have no place in the 21st century. Really? Really? Is it hard for us to remember, I don't know, some little uh, incidents in other places in in Middle East, for instance, North Africa? Can we remember those? Where those uh, have a place? Is because you did it? Not you personally, but your team did it? That's okay with that? The killing of what's his name? Uh, Gaddafi. Was that in the 21st century? Was that in the 21st century? That was maybe in the, whenever you want to place it. Why? Because we're human. But to say such a thing, hold on, okay? So in this case, he calls this has no place. Did he say the same thing about the Kirsch Bridge? Because the Russians are claiming they destroy only infrastructure, no civilians. You see, they have weapons calibered to do the same thing. It's a civilian going to space. But only you have that technology? Oh, my bad. Jesus Christ, man, <laughs> these tards. So Russia pounded cities across Ukraine. What cities is according to you? This guy said infrastructure. Uh, which one is it? Is that bridge in a city or what? It's just a bridge. And besides, who knows who did it, right? But this guy said, no, we, do, we did it because you did it. Is it proven that the Ukrainians did it? No, it's not proven. Russians claim that they conducted the investigation. Do you believe the Russians? No. Do you believe the... The NATO, yes, because NATO has a clean, crystal clear history and, you know, a record. <laughs> yeah, you're going to believe the Swedes and the Dans when they come uh, uh, with a report on the Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2? Will you believe them? I will not believe shit, I tell you right now. Why? Because remember what uh, Denmark did to uh, the European Union allowing uh, NSA, the Americans, to con to contact, to enter the informational market of the... I don't know exactly how it's called, but I had to make up some words here. You know what I mean. He was, they were, they were tap tapping the phones of... Uh, I was about to say Meghan Markle. Jesus Christ. Angela Merkel, the former Chancellor of Germany. The phone through Denmark, the Americans. And not only that, to other uh, high officials. 2012, 2019. Check it out. Click, click. That's all you need to do. And you find it. It's right there. Through Denmark. And Denmark is going to investigate now. It's going to say, yeah, it was the Americans blowing up the Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2. Do you think so? Denmark will disappear tomorrow. You know, like, like, click, done. Denmark, who, what, where? Oh, my God. So, Russia pounded cities across Ukraine during rush hour in apparent revenge strikes. It's not apparent. They said so. <laughs> they said, Putin said so, uh, Ministry of Defense said so, Medvedev said so, Tom Jones said it, everybody said it. Uh, he always sings a song about that too. All right, so, up, uh, revenge strikes after President Vladimir Putin declared the blast on Russia's bridge to Crimea to be a terrorist attack. If it was not a terrorist attack, what was it? An accident? Act of God? And I'm quoting, they are barbaric and cowardly attacks. Well, I think you need a lot of courage to get on a plane, get on the enemy, cross the enemy lines, go in their territory where they have air defense systems provided by you, by the way, and you go over there and release some, uh, some missiles, you turn around and you land back. Even if that's your enemy, the same with the rape. Doesn't matter who did it, that's courage. If it's you or your enemy, that's an act of courage because you expose your life to danger, my man. But Borel, what does Borel know? He skipped uh, kindergarten, remember? 
Uh, there are a barbaric and cowardly attack, targeting innocent civilians on their way to work and school in the morning traffic. Peter Stano, oh, it's Stano, not Borel, my bad, a spokesperson for the European Union executive arm of more like that, a strong hand, uh, told the Commission's daily news briefing. He described the strike as a con contravention of international humanitarian law and said Russia's political and military leadership would be held accountable pff, okay, for this and other war crimes. By who? Who's going to hold them accountable? If you bring Bill Clinton, if you bring uh, George W, if you bring Tony Blair over there, I am may be inclined to listen to you a little bit more seriously. Until then, uh, don't stay in line, kneel and start doing it. Okay, it's unbelievable, Un unbelievable. And not only this, well, in the meantime, while you're at it, why don't you bring Truman as well? You remember, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, the President of the United States, you know, it comes like Larry, Terry, Gary, Oh my God, again, what's his name? Truman. I can't think of his, his first name. You know what I'm talking about. The guy who dropped two atomic bombs. Bring him too. Br bring him too. Yeah. Harry, man, because he got Harry. Like Harry, Harry, the guy who's married to Meghan Markle. Oh my God, another character. Jesus Christ. And he's a... Uh... Anyway, we can go like this on and on and on. So the bottom line is, see how hypocritical these weasels are? I'm not saying what the Russians are doing is right whatsoever, no. But call it the way it is on the other side too. No, then I don't expect me to be just on your side or, or shed a tear for you when you're like this. And unfortunately, it's the Ukrainian people who get because of those guys and those guys and the weasels in control, the four of the Hora who dance Hora uh, on the uh, Ukrainian nation. Well, that's a crime. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.